Hello everybody, this is Shaq from Shaq's Hacks. Today I'm going to do a full teardown of the Soundcore Motion 300. As you all know by now, this is a great speaker, this is why I'm doing the teardown. First thing, let's just quickly have a look at the speaker. And you may notice there is the front metal mesh grill, which I will be focusing on. So that's what we're going to remove at the front. The reason for that is there is nothing at the back to be removed. There is no screws, okay? First of all, let's just remove the strap, which is detachable. You may notice I've got a rubber foot here, you may see in the camera. This is just so I can hold the speaker into an angle for the camera, and it's not part of the speaker. For this, I'm going to use a Pryan tool and a Phillips screwdriver. I've already opened this speaker before because I did a review for it and if you want to see my full review including sound demo and lots of specs and my opinion about it just look it up on my channel or I'll link it up here at the top. So with the prying tool we're just going to focus on the right side here you need to insert the prying tool very gently because like I said this is metal and if you bend it or scratch it it's basically damaged. I'm going to apply force to the right while lifting up this side here. So try and do it gently like I said and you'll notice it lifting up. Okay the first time I did it it wasn't as easy as that. If you want to warm it up before doing this I also recommend it but just be very careful. Uh, when you warm it up, try and warm up the sides instead of warm it up from the front. As you can see, the drivers are inside and they're going to get hot and you may damage them. So now you gently lift it up. So let's have a look at the mesh color. As you can see, it's premium quality I, I i love it i love the logo on there i love that is gray uh, like dark gray on light gray right this is how it's it clicks in there are some try and see if we can get it on an angle here so you can see it uh, there are some uh, holes in here that's what helps it click in but there is also some tape sticky tape on the sides while i was removing the front grill i've noticed that it's well put together so if the speaker accidentally falls on the floor it will still be in place it will just bounce back so here are the double two inch full range drivers and in the middle you can see the passive radiator this does a great job at extending the lower base and this is why this speaker is well known for its bass capability there is also exactly the same at the back we'll hopefully get to to that as well so i'll quickly just play a track As you probably already know, the just impressive sound. I just love the bass, to be honest. Right, so let's uh, carry on with the uh, teardown. I can see there are two, four, six, eight screws, and they look like they are Phillips one. So let's go ahead. Yeah, Phillips one just fits perfectly. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so I had to use a heat gun at very low temperature. I had to focus the heat on the sides, so you have to be careful so you don't damage the drivers in the front. You need to go around slowly. There is strong tape all around, and what you basically have to do is, once you get your prying tool inside, you need to lift off the front gently again until it eventually just pops up like that it's extremely difficult to remove so just be warned but luckily once you've got past the glue bit everything else actually looks pretty neat amazing I expected lots of cables and stuff. This is actually rather a decent job. The board is on top, next to where the buttons are. The battery is at the bottom. The drives is in front, and that's it. That's amazing. The cables that hold the main drivers have some kind of wax to hold them in place, which is always good to see, because when you drop your speaker, you don't want it to accidentally disconnect. Right guys, let's just quickly uh, have a look at what's inside the speaker. First thing I've noticed, it's pretty clean. It's tidy. There isn't lots of cables just going all over the place. It's nicely organized. I've got the two drivers here. I've got the wires going into the main board from each side. We've got the battery at the bottom here. We'll have a look at that in a second. That goes all the way to the main board again here on the right side. This is the charging port for the USB-C. And that's going to the main board again there. We've got the mic cable here. Right, let's have a look at the quality of the components now and the soldering. So first of all, the most important ones, let's have a look at the speaker cables. Also here. These are the drivers. I've got a big magnet in the back. I'm not sure what they're rated at. Don't say that at the back. But I think it's behind one of the factory QR components. So let's just remove that and have a look inside. It says 4 ohm and a model number A3366 and at the top is 45366. So this is the front ray data as you can see expands nicely, nice feeling to it, quite solid piece of rubber. On the other side at the back is the other piece of rubber which you can't see it from the back but it's exactly the same. Let's just play a track. I'm going to alternate between putting these uh, the, the drivers inside the enclosure and taking them out of the enclosure and you'll be able to hear the difference. tremendous amount of bass when I close the front cover. Let's have a look at the main board. The chip is right in the middle. I can tell because it's got a heat sink in there. On the left side here, uh, again, I'm gonna make a guess. I'm not 100% sure, but it could be the Bluetooth chip there. Here is the Bluetooth aerial. So maybe right, because it's right next to the chip, the Bluetooth chip. 
Right now, how about we have a look at the battery inside. And guys, before I continue, please don't forget to subscribe. There will be tons of our teardown videos because I love doing this. So yeah, I would appreciate if you could like and subscribe. I already can see that there are two cells batteries in here. And it's very possible that they are this type of battery here that you can find in other electronics. Looks like it's the same size. Right, here we go guys, we've got to the battery, eventually. Let's get a closer look. I hope that was clear enough. I'll take a picture just in case. All right guys, so I'll put the battery back in place in here. And now I'm just gonna have a look at the driver. So I've removed the screws. Wow, even after removing the screws, it's quite difficult to pull out. I guess the reason for that is because it's waterproof, so it's got some rubber here stuck to the front. That's, uh, that's good to know. Let me just play some music now. Let's see the driver move with the music. Wow, it's uh, it's small, but it's uh, it's feisty. This little thing. Okay, let's put it back where it was. All right, guys. Now I'm just going to put the speaker back together. I'm just going to reverse everything, basically. I'm just pushing firmly here on the front. Like I said, use force, but just reasonable force and you'll be all right. So that's it guys, this is our speaker. The tear down, I would say difficulty was about seven out of 10. The most awkward bit was just not the grill, but below it when I had to remove the front cover. The glue was quite strong, but I understand why uh, Soundcore had to do that. It's just basically the speaker is meant to be IPX7, so it's waterproof. But eventually I just used a heat gun to just warm up the sides. Just be careful, otherwise you could damage the uh, drivers or even the passive radiators. Just, just be careful with that. After that, it was just very easy. The work inside, the electronics, 
the quality of the components, everything was just sound. If you want to watch the full review of the speaker, including sound demos, please follow my video. I'll put it on the link at the top. If you want to see more of these teardowns, please subscribe. I will be doing many of them in the near future. I also have lots of them that I've done in the past. I thank you for your continued support and I hope to see you again soon. Until then, goodbye.